In Italy, police have seized property in Sardinia owned by the former Formula One driver Nikita Mazepin. Now, he is under EU sanctions over his father's close ties to Russia's President Putin. The EU says that the senior, the father, is a member of Putin's inner circle. And as for Nikita himself, he used to drive for the Haas Formula One team. That was until the sponsorship was removed. His father's fertilizer company sponsored the team. The team has terminated his contract, uh, Nikita's contract, in the wake of the invasion of Ukraine. We are pleased to have Nikita Mazban, who joins me now, sir. Thank you for joining. Um, so your assets have been seized or will be if they come into the purview of, of uh, Western authorities. How is that affecting you? Hey, Richard. Um, you know, thank you for having me. In, in respect to the question that you've asked me, uh, I'll be honest, you know, I'm not going to be crying tears, you know, over this. Um, in the bigger picture, it's not important. And of course, at some point, we'll be looking at the options uh, that we can be taking in terms of sanctions and in terms of villa. But, you know, that's just there's just time down the road. I sort of feel that it, it, we, we can talk sanctions and how sort of you feel about the fact that you're uh, your contract was terminated and the sponsorship and all of those sort of things. But I think, sir, we do need to ask where you stand on this war. What is your view on this war? My view is that, you know, whatever is going on right now, um, and I can only see a very small bit from where I am in Moscow, you know, it's, it's very painful. Um, and I definitely feel it. You know, I've been living for 23 years and I was uh, living in a, in a very calm world. But, you know, as to my official position, I, I've said many times that it's very important to to be neutral for me because I'm an athlete and I feel that it's important to be able to be to be neutral. You know, and even for that, I have created a foundation uh, that will help athletes stay neutral in principle. Can you understand how people hear that and say, how can you be neutral when half the world is saying that there's a genocide underway at the hands of the Russian government? I understand. And, and as I said, I, I feel that it's hugely painful. But I feel that, you know, for who I am and I feel myself as an athlete competing, you know, used to be competing in Formula One, um, I'm not a politician uh, to speak out on this, and I don't have enough knowledge to be making these decisions. So public neutrality is important. And I would say people should have a right to speak, or, and they also should have a right not to speak if they wish to do so. I, I, I'm familiar with the old uh, proverb, don't visit the sins of the parents on the children. Uh, of course, it's a it's a it's a wise uh, saying, um, but everybody says your father is part of President Putin's inner circle. Now I don't know whether he is or not, so uh, I'm asking you: Is he? Well, look, I would like to to make two points here. Um, first, everyone is is now a member of Putin's inner circle, and that's become kind of uh, become a trope. Uh, you know, it's like everyone as a business person or as an athlete or an artist, you know, is hanging out in Kremlin every day, which is, you know, obviously not the case. And perhaps, you know, if thinking people analyze the number of people currently described as members of Putin's inner circle, they will ask themselves the question of, you know, how inner is that circle? The, in terms of your own career, your own, as an athlete, how do you get back? Now, you know, the U.S. Secretary of State says, for example, that this war could last until the end of the year uh, and beyond. And certainly the sanctions are not going away anytime soon. So what's your what's your idea for how you can get behind the wheel of a car again? It, it's difficult to say. Um you know, at this moment in time, because I'm very wary that 
my issues that I've lost a job that, you know, I was trying to get to Formula One for 17 years and, and then I eventually got there. Um, but it's a very minor issue if you compare to the big things that is going on in the world right now. So, of course, you know, I would love to get back to the sport. Um, I feel that I've got a lot of unfinished business there, but, you know, it, it just needs, I need to wait until things um, cool down. And I don't even know who I can get back to because, you know, Haas has obviously done what they did with right. playing not the cleanest game, in my opinion. Um, but it's different for me. But, but perhaps the most difficult question I'll, I'll ask you tonight, is your studied neutrality going to be the problem, the issue that will prevent you from driving again? People will say he was he took a position of neutrality and that will be held against you for the foreseeable future, possibly for the rest of your career. Well, it's a question that I feel is quite easy to answer. Um, I think, every, as I said, everybody has a right to speak or not to speak. And FIA, the highest governing body, has enabled me to compete as long as I'm neutral. But um, I would say the biggest issue here is, you know, coming back to the sport where teams are allowed to, to be, you know, keeping sponsorship money um, without fulfilling the contract and, you know, even, even asking for more, even though they say they don't want money from Russia. So I, I'm not sure, but the sport values need to be evaluated for me after this.